What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be giving you a quick review and walkthrough of Helium 10 for Low Content Book Publishing. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview and review of Helium 10 because I've recently been playing around with this for the last couple of weeks and I think that this is an amazing tool. Now, there's two tools that we're going to take a look at inside of Helium 10. First one being this one, Cerebro, which is absolutely awesome. This is a reverse ASIN lookup, and you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. And then the second one is going to be Magnet, so just another keyword research tool. They have all of these other tools within inside Helium 10, but these are the two main ones that I'm going to be using, or the ones that I actually use myself. I do use another couple, so if you want more videos like this on Helium 10, drop a comment down below. But that's what we're going to take a look at, the Cerebro and Magnet, because these two are really, really great tools. Now, here we are on Cerebro. This is the reversed ASIN lookup. So what I'm going to do is just go over to Amazon. I've already pulled up a book, just this one, so we could get the ASIM. In fact, if you see this just here, this graph, this is also Helium 10, but this is completely free. And I highly suggest getting this because when you're doing your research, you can actually check the BSR of a book over time. So if we click on all time, we can see how this book has performed and you can zoom in. So if we double click, do that, we can zoom in on certain areas to get those sales. So this is a really cool bit of free software as well. This is free, so all you have to do is type in, in Google, Helium 10 free Chrome extension, and you should be able to get this. You do need a free Helium 10 account as well. Now, let's take this ASIM. So if we take this like that, put it over here and plug it in here, we can then look at all the data that it gives us. Now, one cool thing is we can do ASINs individually, like what we're going to do in a second, or we can double up. So we could put more ASINs in the same niche in here, click Get Keywords, and you can do some really great stuff. But this example, we're just going to use the one ASIN. So let's click Get Keywords. Then what I'm going to do is just run through everything to explain to you what all this data means so you can use it yourself. Now, if you want a... Hold on, just give that a second to load. There we go. If you want to check out Helium 10, there will be a link down below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Now, here we go with all the data. So we've got this ASIM. We've just got that over here from Amazon, and we've plugged that in. And now we have all of this data. So right here, this is the ASIN that we put in. We can see that. Then distribution. This is the total number of keywords sorted by a certain type. So the total keywords that they found for this book is 9,692. And 3,777 of them are organic keywords and 6,558 are sponsored keywords. So this information is pretty cool because now we know what keywords that this book is ranked for organically and we can take a look at that in a second. Now if we look here this is frequently brought together so these are books that are recently or frequently brought together along with this one as well and then we have the word frequency so if we scroll down just a little bit let's go to there frequency so these are the keywords that are found in all of these keywords just here. So filtered keywords, the search we've just done, we found, or they found, 9,411 keywords. Now if we look here, 2,500, or should I say, the word colouring is found 2,505 times 
within all of these keywords down here. And the same with all these other um, single keywords just here. So what you can actually do is take these individual keywords and use them in your back-end keywords over on KDP. Very, very powerful. Now, this is the cool stuff. So this is what I want to show you. From here, we can actually do a lot of different filters on all these keywords. So these are the keywords, obviously, which they found for this book. And now, because 9,411 keywords is a lot of keywords, we can actually filter that down. So this is pretty cool as well. So now we can look at search volume. These are the ones that I tend to take a look at. So search volume, we can now put a number in there. So let's do no less than 100. So we want more than 100 monthly searches. And then the Cerebro IQ score, we can play around with that. I'll speak about that in a second. We can check out the organic ranking. So if we go right here, look here on the right hand side, this is the organic ranking for this book. So for this book, they're ranked number one for adult colouring, relaxing animal designs, Jade Summer, adult colouring boosts for women, large print. But these are all keywords just here which that book is ranked for organically. Now, this is very important data as well, especially if you're running ads. Not running ads, that was for the sponsored rank. I mean, this is very important data, this organic rank, if you want to try and create a book in this niche, because now we can see this book is ranked in Amazon for certain keywords. So this is just really cool data. And the sponsored rank just here is great if you want to run ads because we can see where all the keywords are which they're actually paying for, if you know what I mean. So with the sponsored rank, we can see that for adult coloring, its sponsored rank is number two. So this, again, is very, very important data. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I could cover with Helium 10, but I want to make this video short, sweet, and simple, a little introduction, if you will. So if you want more in-depth videos on this tool, then drop that comment down below letting me know. Anyway, back to here. So we can check out the organic rank as well. So with the organic rank, which is just here, we might want to filter that down and put 1 to 50 or something like that. For this instance, we're just going to keep that um, with nothing in it. Word count, we can do match type as well. So we can do organic, sponsored, or Amazon recommended, or keep none selected to use all of them. We have Amazon's choice just here. We have Amazon recommended rank, we can check out, filter it through that way. Sponsored rank, competing products as well. So competing products is by far one of the best metrics to use, because if we scroll down to here, this is the competing products. So when you're trying to find keywords, niches, things like that, you want to try and find this, the competing products with a really low number, and then you want the search volume pretty high as well. So by using these two filters alone, just in here, the search volume, minimum of 100, competing products, maximum or minimum of, let's do, now let's do a max of 1,000. And now we can click apply, and these keywords just here, these 9,411, are going to get filtered down to a lot less. So let's click on that. Just give it a second. There we go. So now that 9,000 has turned into 3,888. And now if we scroll down, we've got a lot more better data. So for this, for this ASIM, which we're checking out. So the thing is with the ASIN, the cool thing is you can find the best selling books in the niche that you want to create books in, take that ASIN, bring it over to here, plug it in, get all this data, and you can see where they're ranked organically for certain keywords. So this is just amazing. And there's so many things that you can do with this. So let's have a look at this now that we filtered down these keywords. We got that search volume, which is just 100 competing products, maximum of 1,000. So now, 
if we look here, these would be some pretty good keywords if they're related to our book, because some of them won't be. But we got this, adult colouring boosts for women. So this is a misspelt word, large print. But if we look here, this gets search volume of 203 monthly searches. We can actually take a look at the all time search volume for this keyword, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing to note that all this just here, these numbers are just an estimate, an estimate to their best ability because Amazon doesn't actually give out um, search volume on their keywords. So there's a lot of things that they're doing in the back end to give you this data. But like I said, we've now filtered this through. We've got all competing products, which says a thousand or less. And then we have all the search volume here as well. Now, another important metric is the Cerebro IQ score. So this score is based on the ratio of estimated search volume, V's number of competing products. So a high score means a relatively high number of searches compared to the number of competitors. A low score means the opposite. So if you're trying to find niches or keywords using Helium 10, always factor in the Cerebro IQ score because the higher the number is, the better that keyword is as well. So I hope you can see just how powerful this Cerebro tool is because we can get the ASIN, of best-selling books, plug that in here, check up all the organic keywords for that book as well and see where they're ranked. We can also do some ninja stuff by plugging in the best sellers, ASINs, and then filtering by just sponsored rank. So we could see all the number one spots where this person is running sponsored posts on this book. So again, that's really really powerful. Now, like I said before, if you do want to check out Helium 10, there will be a link down in the description below. It will take you to here where you can get a discount. So build your business on Amazon and claim your offer today. If you go through my link, they've actually given us a special discount code where you can get 50% off your first month when you use code stacking profit 50 or 10% off every month when you use code stacking profit 10. So if you are interested, go ahead down below and check it out. Now, me personally, I only recommend buying tools when you're already making royalties. If you have not got the money, then please do not buy this tool because it is a little bit pricey. Now, if we go over to here, we can check out the free version. So what I've done is just pulled up this because you can sign up for a free account, which I highly recommend you doing because why not? Is completely free and with the Cerebro and the Magnet you get to use it twice per day so if we go back over to here if you had the free account you can use Cerebro and Magnet twice a day completely for free so I'd use that in the free version just to get some really really great data so I highly suggest just signing up and using the free version. And again, if you do want some more videos, some reviews, not reviews, some tutorials on actually how to use everything here, instead of just a quick overview, then drop that comment down, let me know. That came out wrong. Drop that comment down below and let me know, because that way I'll go ahead and make some more videos, because the amount of stuff you can do, I can't create a 15 minute video around. So again, just let me know. Now, so that's Cerebro, just a quick overview of what you can use this tool for and how to use it. And now let's just cover Magnet as well. So I'm just going to cover this just so you can see how this works as well. So this is just another keyword research tool, very similar to Cerebro, but instead of using an ASIN, we can just plug in keywords. So what Keyword, did I find it over here? We have animal coloring books for adults. So let's just use that. So animal coloring book for adults. And as you can see, they're going to auto populate it because I believe that these are the search terms over from Amazon. So it makes sense to pull them through into the software. Now let's click that and click 
get keywords. Now I've searched this before, so we're just going to do a new search. Now, one thing I didn't note as well at the beginning is that we can check these on multiple different marketplaces. So if you want to create books just for amazon.co.uk or Japan or Canada, we can do the research just on those marketplaces by clicking this box up here. Once it's loaded, just here, we can click that and choose all the different marketplaces to do the research on. Now, there we go. So now it's pulled up all the data that it can for animal coloring book for adults. So with this keyword, there's, they found a total of 5,845 keywords. 2,800 of them are organic. And then we have this smart complete as well. Now smart complete is keywords that are long tail versions. Here we go of the analyzed keyword. These keywords potentially could show up on a broad match PPC campaign that targets the analyzed keyword. So I don't tend to use that this much. It's just mainly the total keywords and organic keywords. We can see the top products in this niche. So selected highest ranking products for the keywords at the time of this search. So for animal coloring book for adults, these are the top products. Now, if we scroll down, we have a lot of the same data just here. So if we click on advanced filters, we have magnet IQ score, the search volume. So again, we could do a minimum of 100 search volume, and then we could do competing products max of a thousand there we go and let's just click apply so these keywords down here these 5800s have now turned into 1100 and then we can go through here checking out all these keywords and seeing which ones are best so this is just a quick overview of this tool very similar to the ASIN lookup cerebro but done with keywords. And then they have a lot more cool stuff as well. But these are the two main ones that I'm using for my research with low content book publishing. So I personally have been playing around now with Helium 10 for a good couple of weeks. I should have started earlier because I didn't realize how much of a cool tool this actually is and all the cool stuff that you can do, especially if you're running ads, because just to have the ability to put in a best-selling book up here on the Cerebro, and then finding all the keywords that they're actually paying ads for or in, and in the number one spot is absolutely priceless. So now that I've been playing around with this, I can recommend this and I do highly recommend it because it is such an amazing tool. But remember, it is quite pricey. So $97 a month is the one that I pay for. You can get that discount by following the link down below, but I do just recommend signing up for a free account so you can use these twice per day. But if you do have a real business and you're actually producing royalties from your books, then just reinvest those royalties, check out the software because it is a business expense. So this video actually went on quite a bit longer than what I thought, almost 20 minutes. This is why I said, if you want me to create any more videos on this software, let me know because I can't fit everything in to just one video. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.